Hey guys, welcome back to Coin Knowledge. So today we're going to be taking a look at Castle of Blackwater, which is actually a new altcoin launch recently in the gaming space. It's actually a game that I think is definitely worth taking a look at a little bit more in depth here, seeing what they're offering, especially since they were building on Beam, which if you're familiar with build or build on Beam, Merit Circles Avalanche subnet, you know that you know anything building on Beam, I'm pretty bullish on in the gaming space. So if you guys are a fan of crypto gaming and newer projects like this, I bring your attention. Consider subscribing to the channel, liking the video. Your support means everything. As well as I did make a Discord recently. You'll find the link in the description and on my YouTube channel. So feel free to join it, and we can get in there. And you guys can ask me any questions you guys have. Um, so we'll get to Castle Blackwater. We'll take a look at their website here. Kind of see what they're about, go through their white paper, and then we'll look at the price section of their tokens since it did recently launch. So already you can see in the background that it is a social deduction game. Uh, kind of think maybe like Among Us a little bit. Our style reminds me a little bit of like, uh, st or uh, I think Do Not Starve, I think was the game, something like that. Uh, but either way, you know, people get in this game and they kind of just... Uh, everyone, it says here, 15 strangers are trapped in a castle of danger and deception with a mission to complete tasks and escape with their lives. So some players are going to work together, forming bonds and strong alliances. Others are going to deceive and kind of, you know, screw over essentially the other players so they can get ahead. Uh, you know, kind of your standard deduction game. We'll see. Oop. Uh, I don't think they have a non-volume option there, but there's a trailer there on their website you can take a look at. They have a bunch of different gameplay videos uh, as well, the different factions, different characters here uh, as well. So if we go back to the top, it does say that they're on Epic, Steam, and Elixir, and then they are hoping to come to mobile as far as the app and Android store, so someone make note of there. Again, they did have their token launch, uh, so we'll take a look at that here a little bit. Uh, towards the end of the video to let you guys know where I think it's heading since the mark cap is so small. Again, they're building on Beam, so Castle of Blackwater. I think they just had their launch pad on Seedify, I want to say, or uh, some other launch pads as well. We'll take a look at that. Again, built on Beam, so it's experience a mysterious, fantastical 2D social deduction game. If you've never played a social deduction game, it you know they do well in the traditional gaming markets. I mean, as long as the player base is there, they do seem to catch fire and just continue going from there. So we'll see here. Look at their trailer. Uh, let me turn this volume down already. Kind of know that that's probably going to get loud. Looks like they don't really show any gameplay in that trailer, but you can see the screenshots here uh, on, you know, Beam's hub here. Again, everything's 2D. It, you know, kind of like is Clue, if you ever played the bird game there, where everyone's, again, 15 players are put in this castle. You're trying to deduct, of, I imagine, like, who did a crime or something like that. Uh, so, you know, at the start of the game, 7 to 15 players spawn at the entrance, and they are assigned with their factions, specific roles. Each role has its own active and passive skills that can contribute to the victory. So, you get the gist of the idea here. If you look at their white paper, we'll just kind of brief over some of the top cliff notes. One, uh, they do have a docs team here, so that is something you always want to take a look at. So, again, shows some of their background. They do have their LinkedIn's uh, also linked if you want to take a look at it again in their white paper so that's always good to see that you know you can see that their teams here they have some experience it's good to see there they have their roadmap so they've been building for a couple of years now on this product it looks like you know if we're going into uh you know 2024 here this tells you what they're going to be having going on so obviously they had their tge for their kobe token uh castle of blackwater and then they're going to be introducing more into their uh, ecosystem and then releasing on different platforms like Steam, mobile towards the end of the year. Based on their roadmap, again, this stuff can change, but just based on their roadmap here. So again, why I'm interested, uh, again, it's a, I think, social deduction games. Again, if people get in and the gameplay is fun and you can get people to play with you, they do have a demographic there. People do like playing them. But the market cap here is what I want to highlight on is that, you know, it's at a $3 million circulating market cap with a fully diluted of $70 million. If you take a look here, trading at about $0.70. Cents. Take a look at the vesting schedule, see if Crypto Rank will show us here. So we can see the different allocation, how this is broken down right here. Unlocked has about 7.8% of it currently unlocked. And then the rest of it obviously is locked. So we can see at the time of recording this video, they are going to be releasing about another 1% of the supply today. Looks like pretty linear unlock schedules for the most part. Nothing totally crazy there. 
Uh, and then it looks like it goes monthly into 1% of the total supply will be unlocked monthly on the 29th for quite a while. So nothing crazy. And then September, it kind of ramps up on that 29th from 1% to 3%. So I would say, you know, for about the next, uh, whatever that is, like three to four months from now, I think nothing crazy as far as dilution goes. But towards as we get towards the end of the year, 2025, stuff like that, uh, the dilution might get ramped up. But something to take note of, it doesn't look like there's going to be any major, like, you know, double digits unlock here towards the end of the year. Looks like at most we're probably looking at about another 10% of the supply being unlocked uh, for the 2024 year. So nothing crazy there. If we look at the fundraising, how it did for the IEOs and IDOs, uh, they're only, you know, the pre-sale investors are really only up about 3 to 4x currently. And they did, yep, launch on Cetified. So really a 3.8x is not crazy nothing crazy there private rounds a little bit more obviously so nothing uh super insane there in my opinion so again why am, am i bringing this to your attention is that you know we did see that they released uh, a couple days ago here at the end of march so i think for a game that looks as quality as it honestly does look for this style of game obviously it's you can't compare this to like a triple a uh, you know, style shooter game. That's just not what this game is. For a social deduction game of 2D styling in this genre, it looks fun. Again, if that's your kind of game, uh, you know, I never played a whole lot of them myself, but I've had friends that have and like Among Us and stuff like that. And we all, if you do, if you don't remember, uh, Among Us was a pretty popular game when it came out. I don't know how popular it is now. I never really played, but uh, again, a lot of my friends, friends were playing it. I just wasn't a big mobile gamer personally, but at a $3 million market cap, a game building on Beam with a a decent vesting schedule for the foreseeable future. Again, something I want to bring note to you, and it looks like people who got on the launch pads are only about a three to four X up right now at the time of recording this. So definitely has some potential there. So let me know in the comments below what you guys think of Castle of Blackwater. I just want to bring it to your attention since it is a newer launch, a newer project, and it's pretty undervalued currently. It wouldn't take a whole lot for this thing to 1020 X, but you know, as always, nothing on this channel is financial advice. Let me know if you guys can like the video, comment, subscribe to the notification bell, and share the video. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. All right, see you guys.